talked about the mixtape that you're working on now but before we get into that tell us a little bit about some of the projects that you've been working on currently uh starting with your band black orchard well we are um, right now we're right back in the studio over on 35th street studios um we've been doing a lot of work as far as you know studio wise because we we've we done a lot of performances and things of that nature and we've really started creating a buzz and people are really starting to feel us but at the same time, we really can't make no majors if we don't really have a major sound, you know what I mean? Right. So we've we done some studio work before, but it didn't really push like we how we sound live. We want that to come across on, on wax, you know what I mean? So we've really been pushing hard to make this, this next release something that the people can hear and really hear the Black Orchard experience because to see us live, it's like <laughs> you feel like you really are in the midst of something. Right, you, you talk about mean? that sound. Tell us a little bit about the Black Orchard sound, what, what it kind of encompasses. With the Black Orchard sound, I think is a sound all its own. Like if you ever hear people try to describe us, they always have to put more than one type of band or one type of sound together. So that's why I always call it a fusion band. You know what I mean? Because it's so many genres mixed up. Is you know, the musicians are so vast in their knowledge of music that it just comes across. And us as you know, vocal leaders, it's three of us. It's me, Tori, and Ugly. We just keep up. You know what I mean? And we just and we all three of us are writers. You know what I mean? I mean like literally writers. Like Tori be working on books. Ugly. Be <laughs> working on short plays and short stories and I'll be writing some of everything and when you have individuals like that you never run out of ideas you know what I mean and then you have musicians with mass amounts of thoughts and ideas musically so right there you just have a, a big fusion of ideas and you're just never gonna run out of music so it's just a it's just a big it's just a big mosh pit <laughs> of like musical genius I think you know what I mean and I'm not necessarily saying that I am but I, I think I'm surrounded by him so I'm okay so now we're here we at the, at the mixtape right. the Daily Herald the, Daily the Sunday Herald. Sunday edition mm -hmm. why that title <laughs> well I called it the, uh, I had been thinking about it for a minute and it flew around just kind of popped up in my head because I mean first of all I feel like it, it, it's kind of a double entendre like this is me, you seeing so many different sides of me. Everything from, I mean, cause you got tracks like Fruity Loop, where I'm being kind of playful and, you know, little cute lines and all that type of stuff, to things that's as heavy as the war track. You know what I mean? Where I'm talking about inner city youth and poverty and things of that nature. So I kind of cover a vast amount of energy on that 
on that particular album. So this is me on a daily basis. I, you know what I mean? I can I can go from one thing to the next. Like this is the seven days of Harold. You know what I mean? And Sunday, you, you know, it's supposed to be Sabbath or whatever. You're supposed to be resting and all that. So that, you know, if you you know rest and relax, and you can go ahead and pop the pop this in and you know get a little daily right. dose of Harold. You know?